Crossing guard killer is sentenced for blowing through a Clearwater stoplight and killing Doug Carey back in 2014. News Channel 8's Jana Jones joins us now live in Pinellas County. Jana, finally some justice for this crossing guard's family. Did Julius Johnson show any remorse today? Good evening to you, Josh. He certainly was not happy with the sentence that he got. He tried to tell the judge that this was not intentional, that he was a good person, and he did not mean to kill this crossing guard. And I feel sorry that this lady husband was not gone, but I can't take no one sent him back. And I ain't intentionally do that. Julius Johnson, initially uncomfortable accepting an 18 year sentence, kept trying to reason with the judge. That's what I'm getting looked at as. Like, I just did this on purpose. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to take right. responsibility of what's going on, but you know what I'm saying? I just feel like 18 years is out of my range right now. And what does the judge say to that? Too bad. I would say that this is a very generous offer, and if it was left up to me, based on what I know about it, uh, Mr. Johnson, you're, you're really in the best position right now. Johnson ran a stoplight before striking down Doug Carey. He ran away, leaving his two young daughters behind in his car. Doug Carey's family, too emotional to speak today, had the state attorney read a statement. Nothing can bring our husband, father, grandfather back. But you can honor the memory of a man who spent his life helping and protecting others by ensuring that Mr. Johnson does not have the opportunity to hurt anyone else. And with that, Johnson accepted the plea and got a well wish on the way out. You have uh, the opportunity right now to pay your debt to society and put this behind you. Good luck, Mr. Johnson.